great. Okay, lovely. Loving this. Loving this vibe for us. Um, so, context. Context. Dan. <laughs> oh, what? what? You just said context and you start. Right, we're okay. Off the right. okay. Hello, everybody. This is this is um, part of the team. I wouldn't say formally known as event shouting because event shouting is not going away. It's just on a extended hiatus, I guess would be the best uh, due to scheduling. And you actually, I think we'll see Nolan here at some point and hopefully Vartan will be back at some point too. And we can, we can continue the show. But in the meantime, we have, uh, we have the ladies of advanced shouting Alicia, uh, from uh, Claremont, Claremont, yep, Claremont, Claremont Florida. Florida, which is outside of Orlando. And then we have uh, Joanna, and she is from Melbourne, Melbourne, I'll say <laughs> Melbourne, 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 Australia. And uh, those are two of the most important people on Advanced Shouting are these two ladies right here. The reason anything got done were these two right here. So we you know, we still wanted to do something. We're not sure, sure what the focus of this show is exactly going to be. Um, we know it's going to be funny. Um, it's going to be everything. It's going to be sports, pop culture, the fact that Australia is weird and that everything there wants to kill you, just general things like that. So we know people have been dying for content and sorry, we're not the people you want to see. Um, obviously everybody's lining up to see Noel, but, um, <laughs> this is, this is, this is who you got. All right. I'm sorry. We were never actors. We, we, um, we didn't date Jennifer Gardner. This is us. Speak for yourself. Oh, cool. Speak for I'll say this is us could be the name. We, we actually were still trying to figure out a, a clever name, which I'm sure you'll see at some point, but we're not there yet. Yeah. I mean, Jennifer Garner and I were besties. You know, we go way back. Right. <laughs> Awkward. Do you know someone in, do you know someone in Melbourne named, so, uh, uh, you know, Jennifer Garner? Oh, no, I'm just trying to name drop. Jared Butler okay. and I, you know. Whew. <laughs> whew. I just assume Australians are friends, so. Yeah, we all know. Have, have you ever seen? Have you ever seen a Hemsworth down there? No, but I did see an Eric Banner. Eric Banner was. Oh, uh, who was Eric Banner? I was trying to. Was yeah, he, I can't. I can't. Not. How do we spell? His was, he was he Zorro? Was he Zorro? Um, okay, trying to think of. Uh, was he the Hulk? Was he the Hulk in one of the early bad Hulk yes, movies? Yes, he was the Hulk in That's the early it. one. He was in Troy. He was in I'm the first at, reboot of Star Trek. Um, oh, he's he's handsome. He is incredibly handsome. Um, I was at work. Oh, he was in Munich. Him. Okay, Munich was a great movie. I've never seen it. That's very good. Some show called Dirty John. Never heard of that. Oh my gosh, so. that's what oh Netflix. that was a podcast for. Yeah. Us. that was okay. a really good podcast. Yeah, they made the the TV show. Um, basically. All right, okay, I know who this guy. It's cool. I I was walking. He was in a recording studio. He was waiting. I was like, you don't keep Eric Banner waiting. He he was waiting. No. And I waved to I him, and he couldn't see me. So I was like tapping on the glass, and I was like, <laughs> and like he looked very, very confused. It's good to see you handled yourself with such poise and grace. Yeah, I'm like a giraffe. You know, I'm really awkward, but considering a giraffe my, on a giraffe on ice. Considering my anatomy, I'm actually quite graceful. <laughs> um, All right. So, what do you have planned for us today? So, I figured everyone knows you, Dan. Everyone knows you. Well, uh, well you know, you've been on the face of of the show for forever since its inception, um, but people don't really know Alicia and I. Um, they should. So, <laughs> they should. We're, we're great. And they people. will now. They should. Yeah. Um, so I thought what we do is we do some icebreakers. One thing I want to know is because neither of us have actually met in person. Correct. Yes. So um, I thought we'd do a Are We Psychopaths? Because I, like I feel it. like that's something you should check before we meet in person. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, you agree. So, so if so, if one if one of us is a psychopath and the other isn't, we shouldn't meet. If neither of us are, we should meet. And if we both are, we probably should meet, right? I, I think just as long as we're supervised. Um, okay. That should be fine. I we'll see. We'll see what the results say. So, um, first question. It's very short quiz, which I kind okay. of question the legitimacy of it. But uh, okay. most would describe me as charming. Uh, and you can turn your charm on like a faucet. I don't think I'm charming. I think I think you are. I think I definitely think you are. 
No, I think it's a facade. I think it's a facade. I don't. I have a strong communication background, so I think I can. <laughs> I can speak in complete sentences so, in front of a camera, but that doesn't make me charming. <laughs> Not me. This describes me somewhat, or this is definitely me. Somewhat. Let's go somewhat. somewhat. How about somewhat? Alicia? Somewhat. I think you're I'll say somewhat as well. I think, I think so too. There's a there's a charisma, there's a charisma, there's a charisma there. Oh, okay. I don't uh, I don't see it, but <laughs> <laughs> there's this mistake about you. Um, you do what you want when the yes. moment. Oh. <laughs> you haven't even finished the sentence, regardless of what others want. Okay, so that's Psychopath. definitely yeah, definitely a yes for Alicia. What's um, so? What's the question? I, I yeah. do what I want when I want. Uh, the moment the impulse strikes me, regardless of what others want. Is there a never? That's never. This is not me. Uh, not see. me. Not me at all. Okay. If something mm-hmm. goes wrong or turns out badly, it's not your fault. No, sometimes sometimes it's my fault. Most likely not my fault. Yeah, it's uh, it's sometimes my fault. Uh, yeah, um, it's you know we're women. It's never our fault. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't do it. Um, have you ever been into legal or criminal trouble as an adult? Not including things like parking or speeding tickets. No. Oh God, it's so boring. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I'm easily the best at what I do, but none, nobody could ever take my place. I'm very good at what I do, but I'm replaceable. Does that make sense? Because <laughs> I think I think we're all replaceable. Yeah. Oh well, that's just... everyone's just a number. I do oh. have a Dundee Award. I have my Dundee <laughs> Award here, so that should be good for know. something. I don't know. You've you've got the six pack, Dan. You've got the six pack of the Emmys, so um, or the seven Actually, pack se- now. Se- seven, 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 seven now. now. So um, but okay. I, okay. But I also lost like sixty five times, so. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I've I've lost it zero times, and I've also won zero times. So you have so. a better percentage than I do. <laughs> okay. No, Jack. I like. I think I like. I'm, I feel like confident. That I'm very good at my job. I just don't. I don't think anybody is irreplaceable. Well, I think yeah. you're. I think you're both irreplaceable. Um, I do whatever I feel like doing, and I don't care what others think, or even if it's illegal. That's not me. No, not the legal part. You've never, you've never done anything, anything. Risky. I feel like that might be you, though. Me. Yeah. Out of well, yeah. I keep it, keep it under the radar. Nobody knows. <laughs> uh, every person for themselves. I don't see the point in feeling sorry for other people and have no desire to help others. No, that's not me. No. I'm in the middle. You're in the middle. I'm with you on that one. I just don't have the emotional bandwidth to be able to. <laughs> I have to because if I don't help, if I don't help others, then I'm not. There's no way I can make good television. Oh well. And where did and where did those Emmys come from? Yeah, is good it hard to see on that high horse of yours, Dan? Um... No, 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 I'm just saying is there's sometimes you have people who aren't as experienced, and you have to guide them or push them along. <laughs> to guide them or push them along. Drag them. <laughs> Because um, I have the most of the shows I work on, you have to fix, and I don't want to be here all three in the morning. True, true. Nobody wants to be at work at three o'clock in the morning, um, unless you're that type of worker. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, that no sounded, judgment. No judgment. Um, no judgment. I have no problem or concern in lying in order to get what I want. No, I'm not saying I don't lie, but I don't. I won't feel good about it. No. Yeah. Like a, a little bit. Oh, God, I feel like I'm going to be the psychopath out of all of us. Oh, I already know you are. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm just a sociopath. <laughs> Living in the moment is what I say. The future will take care of itself, and learning from your past is pointless. That sounds like you. No, I have too much anxiety. Yeah, me too, actually. <laughs> so not you, not you. Sure. <laughs> If you guys say so. Uh, two more. I live in New York. We all have therapists. <laughs> we all have therapists. We have them here too, you know. <laughs> it's called the pub. Um, <laughs> I never feel remorse, shame, or guilt about something I've said or done. Oh, no. I feel all those things all the time. 
I'm sure I'll feel them at some point on this show. <laughs> I've already said a couple of things I regret. Um, I don't see the point in taking on responsibilities of any kind. They just weigh you down. No. Nope. Well, you've, you know, you've got a child. You've... I do. I have to have, yeah. <laughs> a little bit. I don't like responsibilities. Oh, no. The question was whether it wasn't, do you like them or not? Is if do you take oh. them on? No one um, likes certain uh, responsibilities. Oh, uh, yeah, I take them on. Okay, we ready for our results? <clears throat> yeah, this yeah. is great. This is great. Okay, so none of us are psychopaths. Good, okay. good, that's good. But, 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 there's, but there's always a but. You, but you are what? Uh, uh, so I'm trying to read this right. Oh no, 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 no. I'm probably more likely to be a psychopath. She's like, she's like, I'm on the spectrum. I'm on yeah, the I'm spectrum, the... yeah. I'm on the borderline of possible. Here's the line, and you're like right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, Dan, you're the least psychopath out of all of us. Yeah. Um, Alicia, you're you're not far behind. You're not far behind. It's like a five out of twenty-four. You're a seven out of twenty-four, Alicia, and I'm an, an eleven. Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> sounds about right. <laughs> um, so great. Good to know that we can all eventually meet in person and not have to worry about our safety unless okay, we're good. meeting in New York. Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? Aren't there crazy people in New York? <laughs> and there's no crazy people around you? Yeah, but we don't have guns. Okay, we don't have every animal in the world that wants to kill. That wants to kill us. Okay, yeah. So yeah, a, a, a bullet might a bullet might get in your general direction, but the odds of it hitting you, you are slim. Like you can look it up. You probably have something called like you know, you have a frog and you look that looks at you and like spits venom through your face. Yeah. You have That's every kind. Every animal in the world wants to kill you. There, there's pigeons aren't going to roll up on you here. I think I think there's some serious education about our animals that need to happen at a later episode. Uh, <laughs> Just you have like, like five, you have like five foot bats. You have mongooses. You have we lizards. We have mongooses. I don't think we have uh, mongooses. I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure you do. Well, I guess it's like crazy bugs that. too, right? Yeah, crazy bugs. You have like you know crazy bugs. I'll yeah, to, yeah. You I'll guys got to... some serious, serious, serious. I'll have to research this. Oh, we right. will. I guarantee you. More people die in Australia from animal insect related violence yeah. than gun violence. I, I yeah. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> That's okay. Check your facts on that one, Dan. Yeah. Um sometimes if you say it with enough conviction you believe it's true. I don't I don't believe that's I, true. I, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna do some research. I'm gonna you're come more back to you're you. much more likely in America to get shot at a Walmart than you are to get shot walking down Fifth Avenue. Tell me about Walmart. It's a fun yet scary place. I uh, I see pictures. I see pictures. So what it, yeah. you get like, you can buy guns there, but you can also buy yeah. like. They got rid of guns. They got rid of the, got yeah. rid of the guns. Don't... You yeah. still buy guns there, yeah. So it's just like a general supermarket. Uh, it's no, everything. It's, it's, like, it's everything you can get. It, they have a supermarket section. They have everything buy, at the lowest price. You can buy so, clothes. You can buy a TV. You can buy mm -hmm. a Christmas tree. You can buy hardware supplies. You, you buy can buy groceries. Hard, you can get your oil changed. You can, you know. So how is it different anything. from Costco? Uh, Costco, you need, a, you need a membership, and Costco is more bulk. Mm -hmm. Like if you're buying in bulk, like you know, Walmart will have um, uh, a 12 pack of toilet paper, where Costco will have a 600 pack of toilet paper. Yeah. Right. Who needs 600 yeah. packs of toilet paper? <laughs> Sorry. It's just funny. I and love everything. it. I love, I love, I love this. And then also there's Target. Target's wonderful. Target is, yeah. Target's heaven. I... I'll take you to Target. Target's like a classier Walmart. It's a classier Walmart. We have Target the clothes here. clothes are awesome. Oh, okay. But, oh, but right. I need to introduce you to Kmart. It's... Kmart? All our Kmarts went out of business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but... We have no more Kmart. Kmart, yeah, Kmart in the 80s were fun. Yeah, no, but Kmart here is basically like an even classier target. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. That's, that's... Like, you go to Kmart, if you're... No, if you're... Kmart was like lower than Walmart. 
Yeah, but it used to so, be. I actually, let me phrase that. I have nothing against I like Walmart. Like, I get my groceries from there. Mm-hmm. It's, like, super, super cheap. It's just, you know, and it's some of their clothes. Are, actually, I think their clothes and stuff has really gotten significantly better over the years, but still Target's a whole other level um, for not that much more money. But Kmart is, like, bottom of the barrel. Like, See, they've if you need to of... wear a barrel. You go to Kmart. You know, but I feel like, like it a, wasn't as ghetto as Walmart. Like Walmart, you don't know what's gonna like throw down there. Kmart, yeah, like it's, it's like true. a that's true. Like yeah, see, fun. okay, that used to be or okay. Sadness. Yes. Back in the back in the nineties, Kmart used to be like that, but they've kind of rebranded themselves. So, huh, yeah, all of wow. all of ours went out of business. I think there's only one left. You know, if you want to live, yeah. laugh, love poster that's where you go if you I want, definitely want to see your Kmart uh, I do too I think you should give us a tour people come like when lockdown ended and they finally let you in you had to reserve a spot to get into Kmart this is amazing it, it was it was I was it was insane like you had to book in a time and you were only given like a 20 minute window it was oh uh, mm. uh, it was beautiful um, well, there's a new, there's a new, there's a new building area section of, um, of Midtown, like West Midtown, called Hudson Yards, and all the they put the most opulent mall in the history of like of New York in there, and it's opened pre-pandemic, and they were charging people just to go into the mall. That's how douchey it was. But then pandemic hit, and now they're like they'll basically pay you to go there. It's like please come, please, please, please come here. That's oh, where the okay. actually the NHL the NHL store is right by there. Well, when you come, we'll work there. Please, please do. So, please take yeah. take me to the NHL. Um, I will. We will. We will do all kind of fun things because uh, um, if you if you since you guys know, Joanna is planning a United States trip next year. So I, I'm planning to come at Halloween so that I can go to the training. Um, yeah, that's right. you, do you not have trick or treating in Russia? No, I mean some, some like. That's little... sad. You have Kmart, but you don't have trick or treats. You know, trick or treating. Kmart is a year round thing, though. So. <laughs> some people treat Halloween that way. <laughs> but um, some streets will do it. Like some family streets will will do their okay. own like Halloween, and um, you can buy decorations and stuff. But it's not really a big. Um, huh cultural thing so i think it's slowly kind of getting there um but yeah okay yeah um so i've got some icebreakers because i figure okay. you know we, we've got the serious stuff out of the way um and just some fun just some fun stuff just some fun stuff um <laughs> i'm really stretching here this is the first time i've done something like this so Happy for feedback. Um, okay, you're going on a date. What is the one article of clothing that would put you off someone? Like if someone walked in wearing a particular article of clothing, what would make you go, yeah, nah? I'm thinking. <laughs> Alicia, do you, Alicia, do you have anything? Or are you think? Are you thinking? I'm well? thinking like. Like if they come in with like a, a fishing t-shirt, like it has a fish on it. I got it. I got it. Okay. What's yours? A visor. A visor. Like like a yeah. like a hat. There's like visor. some fashionable ones. No, they're all douchey. <laughs> all what, visors are What douchey. if they're like a um uh, I have a visor. Oh like a like a casino card yeah, dealer? No, no, that's and even, they've just come no, from <laughs> No, it's even worse because then they'll have the, whatever outfit on from the casino they went to, and that's probably ridiculous too. What if they took you on a date to the casino that they worked at? No, no, I don't gamble. So no. No. Okay. Um, mine would be a puka shell necklace. Oh, that's bad. That's good. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I see I them like and I cringe. That. I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> um, I also your... would say, because they're back in fashion now and it kind of angers me, a bucket hat would anger me because you guys weren't around in the 90s. I was. That's when they're cool and they're not cool again. Who do you think you are, Liam Gallagher? I don't think so. You cannot wear a bucket hat. <laughs> just marry just marry all of the Oasis people. Please. Please, Dan. Please, just do it. Um, see, a bucket hat is the only hat that looks good on me. Hmm. I just have a weird. I would look ridiculous. I used to wear. I used to wear a bucket hat with like yellow sunglasses. It was my Oasis Bono phase of the mid '90s. Yeah, it was bad. I'm sure there's pictures of that somewhere. 
Yeah, I won't do that now, though. I can't do that. I'm a father. I couldn't do that to my child. Yeah, you could. You know, it's your no. right now. It's your fatherly right to embarrass your no, child. No, I'm not not, not going to do that. I will embarrass my child, uh, but oh my God. I would try not to do it intentionally. If it's going to happen, I would like as much say, control as possible. <laughs> Um, so I was, I was, so I'm going back to like a visor. I was also thinking for some reason, like a poncho. I don't know. Ponchos are coming back. Mm. For some reason, the first thing that came to my mind was a, a bow tie. Bow ties are kind of, I don't, I'm not a bow that's tie. That's weird. Fan. Yeah. Or a, like, a, cumber, a be, cumber bun is bad too. Yeah. Like or a, a vest with no shirt on underneath, like stone cold. Oh. Or, <laughs> or, um, we call them wife beaters. Yeah. We call oh, yeah, them, yeah, we call them that too. too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If that, yeah. That'd that be pretty bad. That would be pretty bad. Um, what's your most used emoji? Face palm. Like the one with the face that's kind of like the, the smiles like sideways, like not happy or sad. What like, does that mean? It's just, just like, meh, 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 meh. Probably face palm because usually I'm talking to Nolan Vartan all day and that usually will require <laughs> multiple face palms. <laughs> Right. Just a disgust anguish. <laughs> God. Oh, just to be in those chats would be. Um, I know, right? <laughs> I, I'm a gif girl. I'm a gif gal. I, I use gifs a lot. Yes, you do. You do uh, use gifs a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah, you do. I feel like you no do. emoticon can, can kind of express what I'm feeling. But I suppose I do use this, you know, the scream face a lot. That's a bit dramatic. Yeah. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> You're a bit dramatic. Am I? No, I, not really. Maybe, I don't maybe think I'll so. tone it down. Maybe I'll tone it down. No, no. no we I'll love see. it. We love it. Yeah, let's tone it up. <laughs> Um, it I don't up. want to be. I, I don't want to either be the person that people hate on in this podcast. No, no, <laughs> no. You're the best. You're the best one. I, absolutely, it's not even close. I feel yeah, like my even... humor doesn't translate to America sometimes. No, no. I think it translates <laughs> no. perfectly, and then the accent it's makes perfect. it funnier. Tell yeah. me more about my. I think um, also your. I think it's just your accent alone. My sister said you sound like Sandy from Greece, and she loves you. So, okay, you already got points there. Oh, uh, thank you. <laughs> um, if you had to eat one meal every day for the rest of your life, what would it be? Tacos. Yeah, probably tacos. Any particular kind of taco? Can I mix it up or is it say? No, just um, actually, no, let me check that. Check that. No, no. Um, ex no, I know exactly what it is because I have an obsession with them. A bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. Mm. That's a good one. Yeah. I could um, eat a bacon, egg, and cheese every day. It's very you, hard for me not to. Do you have sauce? Sauce? Yeah, like tomato sauce. Oh, a good bacon egg. You put tomato sauce on a bacon egg and cheese? What's wrong with you? Like ketchup or tomato like, sauce? Either one's disgusting. What? No, but you put like barbecue sauce on it. Ew, what? Yeah, in Australia. Barbecue? You... My in shot's a... not frozen. I'm just shocked. <laughs> <laughs> barbecue? No, in Australia, you get a bacon and egg roll, no cheese, um, and then you put like barbecue sauce in there it's <laughs> it's amazing it blow your mind blast for me just try it just try it again. i would no i will i do like i do like hot sauce with a bacon egg and cheese that's good hot sauce and eggs are good together once in a while could you please explain to me what the difference is between ketchup and tomato sauce well yeah tomato sauce is like a marinara sauce it's a pasta yeah. there's no vinegar in it oh. ketchup is a condiment condiment yeah and that has it's a vinegar based condiment Okay. Okay. That's yeah. where that's where we're that's where we're different. So tomato sauce is basically ketchup in Australia. Okay. And what would you call a marinara sauce? Uh, just like pasta sauce. Okay. All right. That's fine. <laughs> we name things what they are. <laughs> um, but we are apparently we can get ketchup in Australia now, which is strange. Oh, that's new. It well, it tastes very different to tomato sauce. Okay. Oh wow. Yeah. Huh. It was very well, sweet. Yeah, of course. Ours is kind oh, of a little oh. bit more, um, I wouldn't say bitter, but I don't know. It's weird. Um, Alicia, what's your meal? My meal that I can eat every day? Mm. Um, probably like fried rice. Oh, that's a 
good one. Like Chinese fried rice. Yeah. That's good. Oh, that's a good one. That's good. Yeah. That is comforting. Good. Yeah. Um, what about what about yours, Joanna? Chips yeah. and gravy. Now chips are fries, but fries. I know that. Yeah, yeah. I know. So that. like you poutine. Stole, you stole that from England. Without the cheese. Okay. Poutine without the cheese, just gravy. What is you just... with no cheese? Oh, look, I love cheese. I do. I... Okay. okay, good. I got scared for a second. No, I, I, I really do. Um, poutine yeah. is just, I, you know, I love a good poutine. It's hard to find in a good poutine in Australia. Um, it's hard to find a good poutine anywhere outside of Canada. French speaking Canada. <laughs> French, speaking, French speaking Canada. Even like somebody like Toronto, like Canada is a shitty poutine, but. French speaking Canada is. I, I think it's the cheese curds. That's what. That's the difference. Mm. My friend is Canadian, uh, and she makes the best poutine I've ever tasted. Oh. And she's a vegetarian, so that oh, says something. Impressive. Says something. Right across the street from me here, there's a French, um, a French market kind of thing, mm. and they actually get they have a poutine bar, and they get their cheese curds sent from Montreal, and it's so good. I've only had it once in two years because I want to see my child grow up. <laughs> send send them my way. Put them in a in a FedEx. Oh, box. we'll go there because I I, be I I belong to the croissant month uh, the croissant of the month club. So we'll go there. You have a croissant right. of the month club. They have a different flavor croissant every month, and if you're a member, you get one for free. What f what flavors? Like ah, uh, they've had pist uh, pistachio. That one's oh, phenomenal. Are you kidding me? Pistachio is one of the greatest things in the world. Yes. Yeah, pistachio is good. On a cannoli. Okay. On a cannoli, yes. Well, well, think of a cannoli, a cannoli kind of cream pistachio filled oh. in. It fills a croissant. Oh, that's too much. Why are why? Are, okay. Do they uh, mail these? I need to join this club. <laughs> uh, a red red velvet croissant. Why don't you just join a cupcake club? <laughs> they did. They did a pumpkin croissant because cup oh. croissants are croissants better. Croissants are better. Yeah. Croissants are much better. Yeah, but yeah, they did all different kind. Almond filled, but those are normal. I, I tell you what, I went to Sprinkles, the Sprinkles Cafe, when I was lost in the States. Okay. They have an ATM. Yeah, they have that at Disney Springs. Sprinkles is kind of overrated. But I'll okay. take you some cupcake. I'll take you some cupcake places. Go to Magnolia Bakery. Magnolia Bakery. That sounds fabulous. That's that's the bomb. One want, of the bomb places. You can't go past just a plain croissant. Like, oh no, I agree. I absolutely agree. They're they're. And it's funny thing is too is like the bakery I go to, like croissants are like, like two dollars or two fifty for a croissant, and then like you can get like some of the other things are like five or six bucks. And it's like, do you know how hard it is to make those? Like the labor, yeah. they're so labor intensive to make croissants. They're so like you want to you want to punch somebody in the face after you get done making them because your knuckles hurt. I <laughs> and to only charge two. I feel like I should be paying ten bucks for these because I know the hell you went through to make this for me. The, yeah, here's a donation for, for the good. Absolutely, donation. right. Um, there's a a woman here in Melbourne um, on the north side, and she quit her job. Just to, she that's her job now. She just makes croissants, and you have to get there at like five a.m. to oh. get, and that even that's too late because she will sell out. She will sell like she supplies to all the restaurants, um, but then she also sells to the public, and you have to get there extremely early. Otherwise, she sells out. They're the most amazing, amazing things I've ever had. That sounds wonderful. Yes, and I am hungry. I will take you there yeah. when you come to Australia, and we shall line up at four a.m. <laughs> <laughs> A little aggressive. Yeah, we'll 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 make sure that you get arrive early. <laughs> It'd be so funny though. Like if I if I got in line at four a.m. and like I'm like this sucks. No. It's like this is an I'm sure it won't. this isn't an iPhone. What is this? <laughs> um. Okay, so oh, I thought we were waiting in line for the Midnight Oil reunion tour. Oh, don't just don't. just stop. Just I was trying to think of the first Australian band that came to my head. Um, and you thought of Midnight Oil? A silver chair? That better? Not really. Savage Garden. Okay. Oh, yeah! Savage Garden kicked ass. Yes, yes. I yeah. I miss I miss them. I miss them so much. Um, what fruit or vegetable would you want to be? Fruit or vegetable? A lemon. A lemon. Why a lemon? 
I like lemons, but they're also like, you know, sour. I feel like personality wise, it also That's matches. Right. I love it. I love it. I love a lemon. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm torn between a fruit and a vegetable. I have a vegetable and I have a fruit. Okay. Tell me what your fruit and your vegetable are. The fruit would be pineapple because it's just my favorite, it's my favorite fruit. And I have, fruit. I have a protected out, outer I was shell. Gonna say, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a bit and, um, <laughs> um, and our, a garbanzo bean. Very what? What is a chickpea. That? Oh, a chickpea. a chickpea. Yeah, that's what garbanzo beans are called. Oh, well, they're just chickpeas. <laughs> you and your fancy, <laughs> fancy, Medi words. fancy Mediterranean <laughs> words. <laughs> um, you ever bought a can of chickpeas that says garbanzo beans right on the side? No, it doesn't. It just says chickpeas. Maybe in Australia. Australia. Yeah. yeah I'll just, I'm just gonna. Hey, you get those at Kmart. I can't. That blows <laughs> my mind. If we learned anything today, I can't believe that. Yeah, I want to go to Fancy Kmart. I, I want to go to Fancy Kmart, too. I, I'll, it's um, a blue light special. <laughs> next <laughs> next time I'm there, I will I will take photos. You can easily spend uh, – it's a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, it's there. Cool. Like, you decorate your house in Kmart. It's, oh. I'm jealous. Just Pinterest. Go on Pinterest and then just look for Kmart Australia. Okay. And you Done. Can do it. Inspo. Um, it's interesting that you would pick a chickpea. I love I love hummus. I, I love was about waffles. to say the the hummus does it. I live in the Greek section of New York. What what else can you use chickpeas for? What can you use them for? Like hummus. You can That's... fry them themselves. They're and very have them good as a fried. Snack. Yeah, they're very good fried. Mm. Yeah, you can also make. Um, they they sell chickpea flour as an alternative to whole. Mm -hmm. Like if you need a gluten free diet. You could just cook them up with like onions and peppers and eat they're them perfect. like that. Yeah, they're just so durable. <laughs> so durable. No. Zombie you could freeze. You could freeze them and then throw them at people like as a weapon. <laughs> okay. Uh, no. uh, yeah, it's nice to know that one of their versatility uses is is to throw them at people. Actually, that's part of the crime in the in New York is uh, uh, assault by chickpeas. <laughs> Stop it! Is that seriously a thing? No. I was no. Not How, <laughs> How could you even believe that? I well, anything happens in New York. Anything's possible. Anything's That's fair. possible. That Alicia fair. just posted a video of a guy trying to kill someone with a hammer. What was it? A hammer? <laughs> a hatchet. A hatchet at McDonald's. at a McDonald's. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, she's in Florida. That Florida is a whole different way. No, it was in New York. It was in New oh, okay, York. but Florida's weird too. Weirder. Oh, yeah, it's super weird. I can't. I can't. Florida's we like can't, we can't do a segment because I take the end train home. We could. We can do something called Tales from the End Train because I've seen some <laughs> Tales from the End Train. I love it. Yeah, I actually have a couple of good ones that were. Love it. Well, we'll save them. But like, a person sitting across from me just uh, just a little spoiler. A person sitting across from me had a fanny pack full of cocaine. And that wasn't even the most egregious thing I saw that day on the train. And that didn't even scare me. So that's what happened after I can't that. Wait. Yeah. I, this, yeah. That's that's just going to be what, yeah. <clears throat> that's what we should call our podcast, Tales from the End Train. Um, yeah. <laughs> there probably already is one. <laughs> yeah. Um, favorite mythical creature. And don't pick dragon. Dragon's like... Unless Griffin? you legitimately love dragons. I... How about a griffin? It's just, it's just a fancy What's wrong dragon. With a no, What's it's a not. It's a lion with wings. That's pretty badass. That's how, how, can, how can a dragon and a lion with wings be the same thing? Oh, okay, fine. I'll let you have a griffin. Why a griffin? Because they're a lion with wings. Okay. okay. I mean, come and on. here you are. Here you are complaining about Australia having deadly animals in your in your crest. Yeah, mythical your creature. Family. They're not. They're not. They're not. They're not real. Well, lions like they shark, live in lions yeah. Like real. sharks with laser beams attached to their heads. Sharks with laser beams. They don't need laser beams, Dan, because they're the best animal in the world. <clears throat> Alicia, sharks. Okay. I would definitely pick a mermaid. No explanation needed. <gasps> Speaking of mermaids, can we just say? Little Mermaid trailer. So excited. Oh, I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Have you seen it, Alicia? 
I did, but it seemed like really gloomy. It did seem gloomy, but the, ori- the original version of Little Mermaid is really gloomy. Like most, of the, that's what we should do. We should ruin people's childhood and like and like go over like the real the real version ones, of these yeah. fairy tales. I I asked for the Little Mermaid when I was little, um, on you know VHS, uh, sure. And my mom got me the Little Mermaid, but it was like the Japanese anime version, <laughs> and that. Better. That is the actual Hans Christian Andersen story. And I was oh, like, this no. is oh, the worst is. thing I've ever seen. Oh, my God. So I would only watch it up until... Mom, you ruined point. Boxing Day. <laughs> <laughs> do you celebrate <laughs> Boxing Day? You do, don't you? We do. I, I, we right, do. Of course you do. Um, Because the cricket starts. You do everything the Queen tells you. No. Look, I, from my point of view... I, we follow the Queen for the public holidays. Okay, fair. And it's easy to get into Canada. That's, That's fair. It is. It's yeah, it is. And and also the Commonwealth Games are the only games that we really excel at. <laughs> we smash the other Commonwealth countries. That's fair. Yes. All right. So speaking of Canada, obviously hockey. Before we before we go, um, you wanted to bring up something uh, about one of the new mascots in the NHL. Can we talk about? Do you have a, do you have a picture? I, I do not, but I will. I will. You'll draw. You'll drop it in. I'll drop it in. Um, okay. How do you say it? How do well, you say it in America? In the, what do you mean? Troll's name. Oh, the the troll's name is Bowie. It's boy in Australia. <laughs> <laughs> a buoy, you know, something that's yeah, uh, yeah floating in, in the, the water. They call yeah, it's a buoy. B u o y. Buoy. I know, but. I, I mean, I could be saying it wrong as an individual, not as an Australian, but I'm pretty sure Australians say boy. Okay. So I saw this troll and I was like, boy, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, I guess, I guess, you know, it's not, I mean, if we're, we're looking at it right here, I mean, it's not the ugliest thing in the world. I mean, it's kind of cute. It's kind of cute in a kind of cute kind of way, but it's like you had two years to develop this, and this is what you went with. I, I, I just... and the backstory is not believable. <laughs> yeah, well, apparently, what... there's some kind of myth- mythological Seattle backstory. There's some kind of troll. I don't um, know. It's the Fremantle troll. Oh, of course, the, the Fremont troll. Yeah, or the sorry, the Fremont troll. Um, which everybody I... knows who that is. <laughs> <laughs> I have to look it up because every mascot needs. I a, did too because no one, no one knows what the hell that it is. It was apparently made to like fight graffiti under the bridge or something, or like trash or. That's where graffiti belongs under the bridge. I know, right? Um, we have a whole Melbourne culture scene based on graffiti um, under bridges, <laughs> um, but. As do we. He's he's apparently like the nephew of the Fremont troll. That's his backstory, and I thought first of oh, all, this I thought is so bad. So why weird. does why does this mascot need a backstory? And then second of all, I thought if I was that troll's uncle, I would definitely specify. Yes, Bowie is my nephew, but only by marriage. <laughs> like that's. I, I don't love the name either. I don't. I don't love the name. Yeah. I think it's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I kind of want a buoy doll, but <laughs> it's, no, it's no. It's no. It's no. It's so the only team without a mascot now is the New York Rangers. Every other team has a mascot. Well, Al from and Detroit. Al isn't really a mascot though. From Detroit. Technically, no, but you guys market the octopus. Do we? Yeah, I, I I tried to buy you a stuffed animal of the octopus, but they didn't have it in stock. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I think Al is the worst. That's probably one of the worst ones, actually. But no, octopuses are cute. Yeah, yeah, they are. But I think the um, one of them is it the avalanche. They just have like this lame-looking, like lame-looking like yeti. It's not a is cute it... yeti. Well, who has the Saint Bernard? Oh, oh no, no, that that is the Avalanche. That's yeah. awesome. You're right. No, it's, it's the Ottawa Senators. The Senators had this weird-looking 
stupid. Oh no, no, Vegas has a stupid lizard. I don't like that. I hate Vegas. I don't know what it is about Vegas, but I just, I, I don't know. I, 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 there's no rhyme or reason as to why I hate Vegas, but I just. I but just, the um, I, the no, no, the uh, the Saint Bernard is is really cute. I like that one. Yeah, I, I do. I'm I'm a big fan of um Gritty as well because he smashes. Of course, I mean, who you know, yeah. Gritty's, has, Gritty's had lawsuits against them. I mean, I respect that. But have you follow, like I only have social media so I can follow Gritty. That's fair. I follow we all follow Gritty. Yeah. Oh, it's just, I just think he's fabulous. Um he's, a, you know, he's he's got a strong conviction. He represents the city of Philadelphia accurately. <laughs> Just orange fuzz. Just chaos. Chaos. Yeah. Orange chaos. <laughs> orange yep. chaos. Always close to committing a felony. <laughs> <laughs> Probably Cowless. doesn't smell good. Cowless Probably doesn't lawsuits. smell good in the sun. <laughs> Probably not. Probably not. No. Um I just think I just think they could have like they could have done a pirate. You had you had two years. Well, yeah. pirates, meh. Yeah, but okay, they they didn't want to do the Kraken because of Al, right? And then they also right. said, no one knows what a Kraken looks like. Everyone knows what a Kraken looks like. Everyone's Everyone seen pirates. Knows what a of Everyone's seen pirates of the Caribbean. They know what a Kraken looks like. But um, Seattle, they could have done like a Yeti, like a cute abominable yeah. snowman, like a Bigfoot. I, I thought I thought no, a cute no, Bigfoot, no pirate. Okay, I thought the pirate kind of fit the theme. Oh, I guess with Kraken, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. Yeah, just why would you choose a troll? Yeah, it's, it's weird. Fun. It's just weird. Really weird. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so that's all right. That's it. That's our first episode. That's it. Yay! Well done, us. Okay, cool. See you later. Okay.